cry out. What is going on, everybody? So, I recently made a couple ROG Ally videos, and honestly, there's only one that stands out the most to me. And it's the fact that ROG Ally helps, for the most part, with video game preservation. And I've been thinking about this for quite some time. The fact that even though we own a lot of digital games on Steam, Epic Store, EA Launcher, or whatever they want to call it, no matter what platform you're on, it's starting to feel like we don't own our games anymore. And I noticed with the Steam Deck, even though I had all my games on the go, there were a ton of times where I just couldn't play the game I spent 60 plus dollars for. Now, if I spend more than $50, I am completely entitled to own whatever material or form of entertainment I just bought with that money. Nothing over $50 should be a rental or temporary like Nintendo Switch is doing with their Nintendo Online services. But now it's starting to seem like no matter what you're promised, even though you're spending a certain amount of money, albeit $50 to $70 or whatever deluxe bullcrap they throw at you it seems like you just do not own anything anymore in terms of video games and a lot of these older titles are starting to be taken off digital shelves if i may and i find that to be increasingly worrisome i thought in the future games would come easier and you would just own everything and everything would stay the same in terms of preservation but it seems like that's the exact opposite everything in the video game world is now a glorified rental piece of entertainment let's say you want to buy dime light too well there was an update not too long ago that required an internet connection without any kind of warning or anything of that nature. They just simply updated the game so you just can't play offline mode anymore. And even though they took that update off and you can now play in offline mode, if you don't connect to the internet for around two weeks with whatever device you're playing Dying Light on, it won't let you play the game. You have to connect to the internet first. For some reason, all of these games are so aggressively tethered to the internet. I have no idea why and none of of these platforms let us know why. All they let happen are people to justify their meaningless and greedy practices. And I'm just pretty much fed up with it. So I recently got an ROG Ally and for the most part I'm playing it about 90% more than my Steam Deck. And it's not because the Steam Deck doesn't feel great. It's not because it doesn't play games very well. Well that's sort of part of it but the main reason is because I can just download offline modes to these games after buying them and just play them whenever I want with the version I choose. Why do I need to constantly update my game? Does Windows update all that often? Does SteamOS update all that often? Every time I turn on a game and try to play it on my Steam Deck, it asks me to update to so-and-so version for so-and-so reasons because there are bugs that you need to fix. So even if it's between that middle of the week or middle of the two week period where I need to verify my internet connection, there can just be a random update that requires me to play online first. And it says you cannot connect to the internet unless you update your game or update required, cannot start in offline mode, cannot update in offline mode, whatever kind of garbage they tell you every single time you need to slave to the internet all over again. And I'm just sick of it. And I'm very ashamed of the video game community and the fact that all they do is justify and make excuses for this. They say, well, that's the way it is now. And if you want things to stay fresh and you're going to have to get used to it because you're part of the 1% bull shit. I'm not part of the 1%. I'm part of the 50%. That's just apparently too weak to stop playing video games and boycott everything. I'm actually kind of sick of Steam and their platform. I'm sick of every platform and the fact that even if I have a portable system, I need to connect to internet. And if I'm like connected to slow internet, like say a hotspot, then it takes about an hour just to play a stupid game. I'd rather go to the doctor and get my teeth pulled out or do something for myself than to sit down and look at this update bar slowly progress to slave over this screen literally they're pushing everything to the point of ridiculousness they're making us just sit there and wait for them to start our game because they can and i feel like it's just the worst form of consumerism and i'm just sick of all this and i was gonna make an entire video about this but dude 
Fuck streaming services. They're the worst. They're the biggest scam. And the fact that people are actually buying into streaming services proves how completely weak-minded a lot of people are out there. I really don't care what your opinion is on this specific matter. But when it comes to video games, sure, like you need updates and it doesn't work. Hey man, the updates work just fine for me in the first day. I don't need all these updates. And also I do not support when games come out broken and when they just ship broken to the customers i don't support that your game is supposed to just work and i get that pc gaming is complicated but if i buy a game on pc at least let me play the game without having to verify my existence every two goddamn weeks i'm actually sick of it to the point i have no idea why people are still gaming on platforms like steam and all this stuff on pc the only reason i have for doing that is because i can get third party offline versions right i can buy the game and then just play it the way i want anyway i don't even have to convert any of the save data like i used to before most of these games can just read your save data off of your folder and you can just continue your game in offline mode no matter what as long as the cloud uploads it to your local files so there's really no reason for me to just keep playing on the steam platform steam can come out all these games but i'm really just not going to play on the steam platform unless it's an online game but even so with xbox game pass i play those games a lot more than i do on steam i think xbox game pass is actually awesome they let you play your games for the most part whenever you want you need to be connected to the internet if you want to play the cloud version but if you want to buy the game you can try it first steam doesn't let you do this for all intents and purposes they just make you guess how the game is based on the reviews screenshots and videos and reputation they don't give the user any kind of freedom and after you buy it they still don't give you any kind of freedom i'm not sure why in the heck they do this but it's really driving me to the point where i don't even think i'm going to support steam deck 2 if they continue these practices and the fact that they have linux as their main os simply because they don't want people to play third-party games on that playing third-party games for 80 percent of the games that you will try is rather difficult and it's clear that valve just doesn't want people to play games off of their steam platform and that's kind of making me not like valve the fact that they're monopolizing on so much it just seems like they want you to stay in that one platform and like you need to verify your existence every two weeks so for the most part i'm going to game on the rg ally almost 100 percent because it can play pretty much any game i throw at it and also i don't have to verify squat with any third party launcher or anything of the sort it just seems abundantly clear that these platforms like steam ea do not care about pc gamers they treat them like something but unironically enough they make them into that something that they treat them like you treat us like a bunch of pirates but you make us into pirates you make this and you know you do the whole reason I'm doing any of this, like downloading third-party offline games, is simply the fact that these platforms make it so incredibly difficult to play their games whenever I want, truly whenever I want. And with Steam Deck, it's becoming even more clear that we really do not own any of these games. I've been dealing with this for the past week. Every time I go to Steam, try to play some kind of game offline mode, it tells me I can't do it. I'm tired of that message. I'm tired of spending 60 plus dollars, or in my case, I go to G2A, and spend about two because I know that some of these games really aren't worth the price tag. And so since they know that we are rightfully getting the price that we deserve, they throw all of this internet nonsense at us and think to themselves, well, we need to at least make sure that they have an internet provider because we made some kind of deal with Roadrunner or Comcast or whatever kind of lacy name they change their business into just to avoid the fact that they had such a bad reputation with a lot of their customers. All these internet providers make the shadiest deals. And it seems like Steam is a big part of that. They're a big part of people getting high speed internet so they can download their games faster and play their games online better. So they make these deals with these people. Oh, but they need to verify every week or so. Uh, change it based on whatever game it is, right? And they're starting to come out with so many multiplayer games on that platform. I think Steam has the most different type of multiplayer games. And I get it. It's great. But the fact that single player games are suffering for the dependency of internet connection with these platforms like Steam, EA, an epic game store it just makes a lot of these multiplayer games seem like a detriment to the video game industry in my eyes especially if i just want to play a single player every now and then but yeah that's pretty much my two cents about everything that's happening with pc gaming 
I'm just losing interest slowly in gaming in general because of this. The fact that I always have to be connected to the internet or what it seems to be the case that I always need to be connected to the internet even to play a crummy single player game that I spent my hard earned money for that is about 60 to maybe $70. And I just don't feel like I own my games anymore. And if you're with me on this, let me know in the comments. If you're not, you're just part of the problem and I'm sorry that you are. I don't know what kind of people can justify the fact that they pay for something and they just do not own it. We don't own anything these days, especially as gamers. Nintendo Switch is the only platform right now that's letting people actually own their games for the most part. You can actually hold the game in your hand, so I give it to Nintendo for letting that happen, but they easily take that credit away when you look at Nintendo Online and everything they're doing with their extremely old titles, making you pay $60 a year just to play Nintendo 64 games or any other older title with it. It's just kind of pitiful, and it obviously shows that they are just treating gamers like second class as citizens. That's all we're treated as all the time. They just do not care about us and they make it abundantly clear when they ship out these half-baked games like Cyberpunk 2077 and everything else. They just seem like they're just selling the title to us and that's really all we own. Just the PNG of the title or the JPEG of the title. That's really all we're spending $60 for because we actually do not own the actual game or we get half of the game and they give it to us about three years later. And I get it. Gamers get a lot lot. We get a lot, but we equally get a lot taken away from us. I think we're pretty much at a balance in terms of give and take at this point. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys have a good one. Later.